Hello and welcome to Cracks Suede. Today in this video, I'll be doing the review of Nusantara OS version 5.5 which is based on the latest Android 13 and comes with exciting new features and customizations as well as the latest February security update. We have been testing out this popular ROM and will be sharing our thoughts on its customization options, stability, overall performance as well as show you Antutu benchmark score, Geekbench score, CPU throttling test and many more so let's see how Nusantara OS 5.5 stacks up in our review it's been a while since I last used this ROM and since then there have been numerous changes and improvements that have caught my attention I am using this ROM on my Redmi Note 8 and the first thing you'll notice is it has different kernel used in this ROM. In Redmi Note 8, most of the custom ROM comes with Quicksilver kernel but this Nusantara OS provides Perf kernel in it and it comes with latest Android 13 and February 2023 security update. Camera so now let's jump into its camera section and it comes with MI camera which also have 48 megapixel main camera and every features inside this camera is working properly without any error. And if you want to use Gcam then you can use that too. Let's talk about the user experience of this room and the speed as well as smoothness that this room provides is extremely good. I'm not facing any lags while scrolling or swiping on the screen and as you can see it's not reloading any apps when I switch between different applications as I have lots of apps stored on recent apps and you can see the app opening and closing speed on the screen. Tell me in the comments how's the app opening and closing speed of this room. Safety net status Moving towards safety net, this ROM has passed safety net compatibility test and in Play Protect certification device is certified as well. Antutu benchmark score. Talking about Antutu benchmark score, this Nusantara OS gives a score of 185440 which is not a satisfying score for me. Because in my opinion, this Redmi Note 8 should touch at least 2 lakh score in custom ROMs. Geekbench score. After Antutu also the results of Geekbench score and as you can see the score for single core is 249 and for multi core the score is 1036 which I'll again say a less score compared to other custom rooms. CPU throttling test result. Moving towards next test which is CPU throttling test and I have run this test for 5 minutes and you can see the results on the screen. In just 5 minutes CPU has throttled to 95% of its maximum performance and in this test also it has low score that I was not expecting from this room. Wallpapers and styles. Moving towards wallpapers and styles you will get only one wallpaper in it and other features like dark theme, themed icons, app grid, system icon packs and system fonts are present and in these system fonts 38 different fonts are available. And one thing to notice is that wallpaper color and basic color options are not present in this section. Launcher Talking about launcher, it comes with Nusantara launcher and in its recent app section you will find options like app info, split top, uninstall and freeform. Home setting and inside its home setting you will see recent options and inside it you will find some quick actions like screenshot, lens and clear all option and pin app is still missing in it and when you take screenshot you won't get lens search option and inside its miscellaneous you will find parallel space, use taskbar and home screen rotation but I did not find option for hidden and protected apps but you can hide apps from app info section of any application. Quick settings. So this is how quick setting panel looks like and this is the default quick setting that you get right after installing this ROM but you can change it to default Android 12 and 13 style as well and you can also change QA style shape to circle or rounded but I like this circle active and rounded inactive shape which will change all the active tiles into circle form and remaining inactive tiles will remain rounded as you can see on the screen and not only that you can also hide labels which look something like this 
and also you can change number of rows and columns according to your preferences so in this room you will be able to do lots of customizations on quick setting panel but i found that this scan qr code tile does not seem to work settings now let's see what's new inside its setting section in its setting home page you will find different setting menu compared to other rooms and you can also change this home page style to four different styles as you can see on the screen system at first on top you will see nusantara wings option and inside it there are four different section present and inside system there is game space from where you can manage gaming setup and this game space looks something like this on your gaming app and below you will find theme section from where you can change theme style to eight different options also you can choose color source as well as you will get options like home wallpapers lock wallpaper and present option which will allow you to change the accent color according to your choice Similarly, you can change system theme to four different options including pure black option. And if you use navigation bar, then you can change it and set custom nav bar style. You will get 10 different styles here. Overall, inside these themes, you can do tons of customizations in it. And inside its notification, you can enable this reticker option as well as blink flashlight for incoming calls and notifications. And from miscellaneous, you can enable unlock higher FPS in games and another interesting feature that I found is this volume control feature which will adjust volume by sliding across the status bar. But when I check this feature, it is not working properly and other basic working features like swipe to screenshot, double tap on status bar and on lock screen to sleep are present. Lock screen Similarly, in lock screen, you can hide QS in secured lock screen and enable charging info option on lock screen which shows charging current, voltage, temperature and other things on lock screen. Status bar. In this Nusantara OS, you can do lots of customization on its status bar section like from battery options, you can change the battery text location from right to left and other basic features like lots of battery styles, so battery percent and battery bar are also included. And similar customizations you can do on its clock setting but in its quick setting it has something different. From here you can change QS space transitions and there are altogether 15 different transitions present and each of them are really unique and this feature is something that makes this Nusantara OS different. And if you want to use QS footer text then you can do it from here and can write anything you want. And at last on status bar, there is a network traffic indicator option where you can also do some basic level of customizations. And at last on Nusantara Wings, there is hardware section from where you can customize buttons and navigation buttons. From buttons, you can change volume panel location from right to left and there is option for per app volume control. And from its navigation, you can change between gesture or three button navigation. And from layout, you can change nav bar format, which you can adjust according to your preference. And also you can swipe nav bar button. Not only this, you can do further more customizations on this nav bar menu, like long press action, double tap action, and many more. So this was all about the customization available in Nusantara Wings section and talking about other basic features, it comes with both fingerprint and face unlock feature. And in battery settings, you will find battery uses option and you can see the battery uses graph. Also, there is battery saver, battery manager and new battery temperature option. But extreme battery saver option is missing in it and talking about battery backup, you will get average battery backup and you will also get separate SAMI parts option which have same old features. And there is no updater setting to check new updates. So that's all about latest Nusantara OS on Redmi Note 8 and this room has given me good user experience and RAM management but I'm not satisfied with the benchmark scores that it has given. and. This ROM comes with huge number of customizations and some of them are really unique. So if you want a customizable ROM with smooth user experience, then you can consider this ROM. 
and what do you think about this room you can share your thoughts and experience on comment section below thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracks youtube channel also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye